That's it, and uh, tomorrow will be the warmest day for a lot of us in a month. That's how long it's been. I mean, we had so much cold weather. Quick recap of uh, January. Uh, each day averaged uh, 4.7 degrees colder than normal. The warmest day was 51. Uh, coldest, six below. We had five days drop below zero in Albany. Snowfall, 8.3 inches, which is about half of normal. Now, before we get to the bad stuff with the forecast, today is a great day. You know why? Meteorologist Rob Lindenmuth's birthday. Today is his birthday. Congratulations, Rob. We think now, Rob was probably a year old at the time this picture was taken. This is his grandma, Marsha. Big Aww. smile. Look at the food on his face. I like that. He's yeah. adorable. Isn't he cute? So he is. cute. I like his little cup too right there. Rob, it's what so happened cute. to you? You were so cute. Oh, he's still cute. <laughs> he's still cute. We're so lucky to have Rob on the team. There's no, there's no doubt about it. We love him. He does a great job. And Rob, thanks for the picture. 31 in Albany. Mid to upper 20s in the outlying areas. 28 at Manchester. Great Barrington at 26. Here are the uh, weather watchers tonight. Mid 20s, Long Lake, Indian Lake, 28 in Queensbury, 31 at uh, Hebron. Most areas right now are fairly clear. Gloversville, 28, Caroga Lake, Richard Nielsen, 27, Jim Glockner, 30 in Greenfield Center, near 30, Mechanicville, Waterford, 24 up on the hill in Grafton, Adams at 28, uh, Bill Mahone in Lanesboro checking in at uh, 25 tonight. Uh, mid 20s, Summit, Wyndham, Germantown to Hillsdale. Temperatures right now in the upper 20s. We all had a, a really nice day today. Um, milder air, even milder than today, is going to move in here for tomorrow. Over 40 degrees. More melting, a little bit of melting. Then the Arctic Air Works eastward for Thursday, and this storm system in Oklahoma will pick up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and throw it our way. And that's going to be the big problem here with the Arctic Air uh, moving in. So enjoy tomorrow. Here's the Arctic front sagging south, initially warm enough for a little bit of rain coming in here. Now watch what happens Thursday as that front sags south. The colder air pushes south. So we're going to see a change to ice and snow, all snow for the Adirondacks. And then this storm tracks by us on Friday with more snow and ice. Long duration event. Mostly snow here, rain to ice, then accumulating snow here, and then rain, some ice, and a brief burst of snow at the tail end to the south. Four to eight inches. This is my first call. We may tweak it a little bit, right? Four to eight through here, eight to 12 or more, Adirondacks into central Vermont, south of Albany, two to four, in an inch or two, southern Berkshire County into a southern Columbia County. All right, high temperatures tomorrow, 45 in Albany. In fact, everybody tomorrow is going to be in the 40s. Down to 21 tonight. Not as cold, two last night, right? Partly sunny, mild for Groundhog Day, a high near 45. And for Thursday, rain, an icy mix later in the day, 36. Ice to snow Thursday night. Now Friday, mostly snow here, 19. Cold into the weekend, but basically dry, 18 on Saturday, and then quite